name is Harriet Beveridge, so can we get any beverage-related gags <laughs> out of the way before we go any further? And then people find out I'm married to Alistair. A beverage? So I usually get, do you fancy a beverage? Will you be having a beverage this evening? Anyway, moving on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about how I use this stuff in my life and with my clients. So this is all about application. Once upon a time, there was a young girl called Harriet who was rubbish at sport. I mean, do you remember that girl or that boy who was the last one to be picked for any team at school? Do you remember that one? That was me. But my games teacher, this is true, said to me, Harriet, you waste energy with every step you take. That was Motivation 1980 style. You know, I, this whole world of sport that I'd hated for so long, the more he spoke about it, the more I realised that some of the strategies... I have no intention of ever getting in a boat, all right? Don't get me wrong. But some of the strategies he talked about seemed kind of quite intriguing. And it got me thinking, I wonder if I could use them. I wonder if I could steal them for my world. It's the relevance, it's the so what. What is someone who's paddled a little bit faster than some other people in a boat, all right? What, what's the relevance to us in this room? Now, there is some research to suggest that when you write stuff down, you've got more chance of succeeding in it. So this is, this is mine from 2003. Okay, 2003, so just a couple of years after I met Ben. Um, and uh, you can see it's before kids, because I had the time to do kind of coloured things, <laughs> stick it together. Now, if I look at, if, if you were to look on this list, there are some things here that are quite laughable. Yeah? So I'm not going to show you this, all right? But there are some things that are quite laughable, quite embarrassing, quite bold. There's a lot of stuff on here, though, that inspired me to do something similar. And there's also an awful lot of stuff on here that I've done. So by writing down that stuff, it will be interesting to see what relevant things suddenly become you're more aware of, because your brain knows that it's relevant. But I'm also interested by what that voice in your head says when you write that stuff down. That voice in your head. Who here, by the way, who here talks to themselves? I love asking that question, because some people go, do I talk to myself? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Do I? I don't think you do. Yes, we all talk to ourselves, especially when you do it out loud. Um, and that, what the voice says can be so debilitating, can't it? Don't be stupid. Don't be silly. Yeah? Don't be ridiculous. You make a fool out of yourself. And time after time in my 20 years of coaching, I have seen people talk themselves out of stuff before they've even started. So what's the difference between belief and being delusional? Evidence. That's what Ben's story and the strategies, you know, sort of taught me. Is it's around the evidence involved. And the crew had something, they, they called it an evidence wall, a belief wall, where they literally gathered the evidence to prove that they could win gold. And it's something that Kath talks around as well in terms of her experience. You know, what's the evidence that will help you get there? The example about Varese, and this was a training session, is that right? It's a training session where for 500 metres, they managed to get world record pace. Now, it would have been very easy to dismiss that and go, we're still way off. We are still way off where we need to be. But they went, whoa, 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 that is 500 million. We just need to multiply that by quite a lot. But we've done that in that one area. So if we can do it there, why, why can't we do this? So middle-aged mother of two, what the heck am I doing thinking about going to Edinburgh? I don't know if you know the story about John Bishop. He was a sales director for a pharmaceutical company. He was quite late in life that he moved to stand-up comedy. If he can do it, why can't little old me? So this is my little evidence wall, by the way. I kept a little, rather than having a wall, I had a book. I can see some people in the room going, oh, good, I get to do stationery. Yes, it's very important, little, little pink book there. Um, so I will read out my evidence wall from night number two. Only six people turned up, but five of them laughed. <laughs> and then the other one was that question. Just if in doubt, you know, in terms of focusing on what's important, will it make the boat go faster? When you're getting sort of distracted or it's easy to get busy with the stuff in front of you, just having that question, well, will it make the boat go faster? If that's the stuff I want, if I've said in 2018, wouldn't it be amazing if? Well, what do I need to do? What, you know, is it going to make the boat go faster to do X or Y? In, in terms of all the things that we've been talking about when it came to Sydney, it was a summary of those three things. And for someone who doesn't give a monkeys about sport, right, but absolutely gives a monkeys about my own personal dreams and the dreams of my clients, you know, individually and, and, and companies, those three principles have really um, shown through. 
So I hope this has been useful. Thank you so much for playing full on. I've been Harriet. Over to Preston.